today, Asus corrects their terrible mistake. A new CPU that's not Intel or AMD, yet can compete, NVIDIA's next GPU is complete trash, and Ryzen is officially getting the ultimate upgrade. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, I have good news. For those who didn't see my recent video on the whole burning Ryzen 7000 X3D chips, basically some motherboard vendors were allowing voltages to get too high when you turned on Expo memory. There were a few other potential causes, but this one seemed to be the main one, and Asus looked to be the biggest culprit. But it wasn't the mistake itself that was such a big deal. Everyone makes mistakes, we're all human. It was the reaction to that mistake that really got everyone upset. Instead of fixing it, apologize and moving on, Asus actually made it where downloading the fix, which wasn't really a fix, would void your warranty, and that's obviously unacceptable. Luckily, the company looks to have gone back on that. In a new blog post, Asus states that both beta and fully validated BIOS updates for Asus's AM5 motherboards are covered under the warranty. Not only that, but AMD Expo and Intel's XMP are also covered under warranty. One thing to note is that they specifically say this regarding AM5 boards, so I would not assume this works on other platforms. Plus, they acted as if this is always the way it's been, when it definitely has not. Still, this is great news, it's just something we should have been given from from day one. Next up for today, it looks like AMD and Intel are finally getting some real competition from a third competitor. But first, whether you prefer AMD or Intel, there's one thing everyone can agree on, and that's great deals. Luckily, Micro Center sponsored today's video so I can give you a great deal on your next CPU. Just visit the link in the description to get $25 off at Micro Center. That's $25 off any processor, whether it's Intel or AMD. And if you still haven't been to a Micro Center yet, the company is opening a new store location in Indianapolis this summer, with two more stores coming by 2025. So you'll finally get a chance to see the wonder that is Micro Center, a physical store that has everything you could want for your PC build. I'm talking tons of motherboards, a massive choice in cases, GPUs, CPUs, even custom water cooling parts. Basically, they've got it all. Plus, they have great staff to help you build the ultimate PC. And now you can get started with this sweet coupon for $25 off your CPU. Once again, visit my link in the description below to get yours before they're gone. And back to the story, according to a new report from the Linux news site Foronix, Longsoon has recently posted Linux patches for their upcoming 3A6000 series of CPUs. If Longsoon sounds familiar, that's because the company is one of China's main chip makers that looks to have a real shot at competition. Well, the 3A6000 is set to be a massive jump in performance for the company. In fact, they actually claim that it can match the IPC performance of AMD's Zen 3. That's AMD's Ryzen 5000 CPU. CPUs, so not bad at all. As far as the new patch in Linux, they enabled their memory management unit, which isn't all that important for now, but it basically shows the company is hard at work on their next-gen CPUs. So far, they're set to launch sometime this year, with samples likely already making their rounds. At the end of the day, both AMD and Intel may need to look out. Next, for those who've been following the channel, you know that I've covered a trend that seems to be happening with NVIDIA's RTX 4000 GPUs, which is that the lower we get in the product stack, the lower the performance jump is when compared to last gen. Well, it looks like we just hit rock bottom with NVIDIA's RTX 4060 Ti, as the GPU just got one of its first benchmarks, and it's really bad. And if you like staying up to date on PC hardware performance, make sure you subscribe to GamerMelt. So the benchmark comes from Geekbench, where you can see the 4060 Ti was tested in their CUDA benchmark, and it scored 146,170. That may not sound all that bad, but when compared to the last gen 3060 Ti, WCCF Tech found that the 4060 Ti is literally not even 15% faster, meaning the next gen upgrade can barely beat last gen. And really, that isn't too much of a surprise given the 4060 Ti is said to have over 500 cores less than the 3060 Ti. Sure,
sure it has higher clocks, but this flat sucks. Oh, and the benchmark confirms that core count. This terrible performance may explain a recent report from my drivers claiming that the 3060 Ti cards will go on sale for $100 off when the 4060 Ti launches. We still don't know the price of Nvidia's new mainstream card, but really, even if the 4060 Ti is the same price the 3060 Ti is now, it still may not be worth the $100 difference when it goes on sale. Of course, it does have DLSS 3, but man does this look terrible. And lastly for today, it's not a rumor anymore. AMD is officially doing it. In an interview with Tom's Hardware, AMD's CTO, Mark Papermaster, revealed that AMD is making hybrid core CPUs. And not just for the server market, but for consumer CPUs as well. For starters, when asked about the current maximum cores of 16, Mark Papermaster states, quote, What you're going to see in PCs as well as in the data center is more bifurcation of tailored SKUs and processors coming out. Because it's really now where one size doesn't fit all. He then goes on to mention that plenty of applications will be fine with our current core count, but some will like more. Then, when we move a bit further down, he says it, quote, but what you'll also see is more variations of the cores themselves. You'll see high performance cores mixed with power efficient cores mixed with acceleration. He then goes on to discuss stacked cache and other things that they're doing. But basically, AMD is 100% moving to a hybrid core design, specifically in the consumer space, but even in data data centers as he later states. And if that wasn't enough, he outright says it. When asked if hybrid architecture is coming to consumer PCs, Mark Papermaster says, quote, Absolutely, it's already here today and you'll see more coming. He's referring to the AI cores in their 7040 series, but it's clear that they're also working on a big dot little design as he mentions. Of course, we've been hearing rumors about an upcoming Phoenix 2 processor that's set to get this new design, but this certainly makes it sound like we can expect a hybrid design on desktop Ryzen as well. And given what it's done for Intel CPUs, I'm really getting pumped. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD to bring in hybrid cores? Or are you just disappointed in that benchmark on NVIDIA's RTX 4060 Ti? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to save $25 on your next CPU in the description below. And as always, have a great day.